Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed panelists, and distinguished audience members, welcome to today's highly anticipated debate on the thought-provoking topic, should HSC compliance be the responsibility of the engineering team or a dedicated HSC department? We are privileged to witness a clash of ideas between three distinguished panelists from Team A, which are Sarvesh, Shazwan, and myself, passionately arguing for the engineering team's responsibility, and two illustrious panelists from Team B, which are Anim and Danish, to vehemently advocating for the necessity of a dedicated HSC department. The depth and breadth of knowledge demonstrated by this esteemed panelist promise an enlightening discourse. Without further ado, let us commence this intellectual journey with the opening statements from each team. Team A, please begin. Um, thank you, moderator. Esteemed members of panel and respected audience, today I stand before you as a fervent advocate for Team A, ardently asserting that HSC compliance should unequivocally rest with the engineering team. The engineering team, armed with their direct understanding of the project's intricacies, holds an unparalleled grasp of technical aspects, equipment intricacies, and complex processes involved. Their intimate familiarities enables them to identify potential hazards swiftly and implement tailored safety measures that resonate harmoniously with the project's unique characteristic. By entrusting HSC compliance to the engineering team, we position them as the most capable guardians of the safety, as they possess the necessary expertise and context to navigate the labyrinth of project intricacies. Thank you. Testing colleagues and listening audience, I wholeheartedly echo the profound arguments articulated by my esteemed teammate by assigning the responsibility of HAC compliance to the engineering team, we transcend the realm of checkbox safety and embrace of a paradigm that integrates safely seamlessly into every facet of the design and implementation process. Rather than treating safety as an afterthought, we establish a proactive approach that ingrains safety the considerations from the project's inception. This approach ensures that safety becomes an inherent element interwoven within the project's DNA, leading to a project that is not only su successful, but also inherently safe. Okay, thank you, panelists too. Okay, distinguished panelists and esteemed attendees, building upon the compelling argument presented by my esteemed colleagues. I emphasize so profound impact of accountability and ownership. By entrusting HSE compliance to engineering team, we cultivate a culture responsibility where each team member assume personal ownership for the project safety. The heightened sense of accountability translates into steadfast dedication to upholding the principle of safety at every twist and turn of the project intricate journey. By empowering the engineering team with direct responsibility, we foster an unwavering commitment to the implementation of stringent safety measures, ensuring both well-being of individual and resounding success of the project as a whole. Profound and compelling arguments, Team A. Now we turn our attention to Team B who will present their opening statements. Thank you for moderator Aisha, esteemed panelists and distinguished guests. It is an honor to represent Team B and passionately advocate for the necessity of a dedicated HSE department. In our relentless pursuit of uh, compromising safety, we recognize the critical importance of specialized knowledge and expertise in HSE compliance. A, ded a dedicated HSE department serves as a bastion of profound wisdom, suppressing the engineering team's domain and ensuring an um, um, 
and wa I'm sorry, unwavering commitment to safety through its comprehensive understanding of safety regulation, risk assessment methodologies, and involving best practice. Panelist two, panelist two, you are muted. Oh, sorry. Uh, thank you. Respected participant and esteemed audience, I wholeheartedly concur with an uh, insightful argument shared by my esteemed colleague. While the engineering team carry a uh, my rate of certificate responsibility, encompassing a realm of design development and uh, project management, we firmly advocated for delighting the intricate realm of HSE compliance to a specialized department. This strategy allocated of role and responsibility relieved the engineering team from the burdensome weight of overseeing HSE compliance, allowing them to channel their energies Toward their core task with unbridled focus and under sorry under third vigor, this division of labor enabled the engineering team to soar off a new height of creativity and innovation while ensuring a dedicated focus on intricate landscape of safety through the appetite and attentiveness of HSE department. Insightful opening statements, Dimbi. We shall now proceed to the cross-examination phase where panelists have the opportunity to pose questions to members of the opposing team to seek clarification or challenge their arguments. Hmm. So, hi. Um, uh, for to Dimbi, um, I would like to ask is that uh, while a dedicated HSE uh, department may possess a specialized knowledge, um, like you said, but how would you address the concern that they may lack the intimate understanding of the project's intricacies that the engineering teams process? So how would you um, address the concern of that? Mm, uh, all right. I appreciate the insightful question raised by our esteemed Team A colleague, Saresh. While it is true that a, dedic a dedicated HSE department may not possess the same level of project specific knowledge as the engineering team, their, stra the, sorry, their, their strength lies in their ability to approach safety with a broader perspective the specialized professional within the HSE department bring a wealth of experience from handling device, diverse, I'm sorry, diverse safety challenges across various projects. Their expertise extends beyond project-specific intricacies, enabling them to identify common risks, implement industry-based practice, and ensure compliance across multiple projects. By doing, they offer a comprehensive and standardized approach to HSE compliance that transcends the bound of individual projects, thereby establish a, rob a robust safety foundation. Thank you. And enlightening response, Team B. We have time for one more question from Team A. Would you like, uh, would you, any of you have any question? Okay, thank you, moderator. Uh, my turn. Uh, to Team B, how would you address concern that a separate HSE department might introduce delays or bureaucracy in the decision making process, potentially hindering the engineering team ability to respond promptly safe to safety concern? Um, That's all. Uh, okay, thank you, Team A. To address this concern, it is imperative to establish a harmonious system of collaboration and communication between the engineering team 
and the dedicated HSE department by foresting a spirit of synergy and mutual understanding both of entities can work in tandem diligently strive toward the common goal of ensuring utmost safety implementing streamlined process clear line of communication and effective framework of decision making and power of from the HSE department to provide the timeline guidance and conduct regulator audit and ensure the compliance without the impeding the engineering team nimbleness in addressing safety concern promptly it is within this delicate delicate sorry balance that safety thrift finding a rightful place as an unwavering companion of the journey of project execute Thank you for the insightful responses. Unfortunately, time constraint prevents us from continuing with further cross-examination. We shall now proceed to the closing statements from each team. Uh, so yeah, thank you, moderator. So from uh, team A, in conclusion, as team members of panel and uh, as team audience, we as team A, we remain resolute in the belief that HSC compliance should rest with the engineering team, should rest with the engineering team. Huh? So because their direct understanding of the project project's intricacies, their unwavering commitment to the integrating safety into every stage of the project, and their deep-rooted sense of accountability makes them the most suitable custodian of uh, health safety and executive uh, compliance. Okay? By entrusting them with this crucial responsibility, we can ensure that a seamless fusion of safety and engineering progress, guaranteeing the well-being of individuals involved and the resounding success of the project. Yeah, thank you. All right. Um, for Team B, uh, we reiterate. I'm sorry. We reiterate the critical importance of a dedicated HSE department is ensuring unwavering compliance and upholding the highest standards of safety. Specialized knowledge and unwavering focus on safety, standardized the compliance enforcement and an independent perspective are the pillar upon the which an effective HSE management system stands. By embracing the establishment of dedicated HSE, HSE department, we empower the engineering team to concentrate on their core responsibility while simultaneously ensuring a comprehensive and um, met meticulous approach to safety that reverberates truth throughout the project, benefiting all stakeholders involved. That's all for me. Thank you. We express our help. Heart, heartfelt expert, uh, appreciation to all the panelists for their well-constructed arguments and deep insights into the multiplicated issue of HSC compliance. Your articulated discourse has illuminated the complexity surrounding this critical aspect of project management. We strongly encourage the audience to further explore this viewpoint and engage in meaningful discussion to foster a culture of safety and responsibility. Okay, thank you moderator. Okay, uh, esteemed panelists and respected audience, as we approach the culmination of this engaging debate, I implore you to reflect on the foundation principle that underpin our argument. Team A firmly believe that uh, the engineering team, armed with their direct understanding of the projects, are three, are three in three sessions. Process and intrinsic advantage is is in assuming uh, sorry in assuming the responsibility of HSE compliant by entrusting this duty to those intimately familiar with the project's unique challenge. We enable them to seamlessly integrate inter, integrate sorry 
safety consideration into every phase of the project. Mitigating risk proactively rather than reactively. Throughout our discourse, we have highlighted the profound importance of accountability and ownership by assigning HSE compliance to engineering team. We foster a culture of responsibility where each team member recognize their role as guardian of safety. The heightened sense accountability translate into steadfast dedication to upholding safety principle, ensuring that no detail is overlooked and that no compromise is made and pursuit of project success. Furthermore, it is crucial to acknowledge that safety is not isolated phase to uh, sorry of project execution, but an integral part of engineering excellence. This engineering team equipped with their in-depth uh, knowledge of the project in three phases, possesses of uh, sorry possesses and uh, their expertise to identify potential hazard and the device and innovate solution that maintain a harmonious balance between safety and functionality. By entrusting HSE compliant to the engineering team, we ensure that safety is not treated as an truth out, but, but as an inherent element deeply embedded in the project DNA. Thank you. Uh, thank you, my teammates from uh, TV. Uh, so yeah, as we near the conclusion of this stability debate, it is uh, imperative to address some of the concern that was raised by our team B, uh, because they argue that a dedicated HSE department brings specialized knowledge and a comprehensive perspective to the safety compliance. While we acknowledge the value of the specialized expertise, but we fully believe that the engineering team's direct understanding of the projects uh, intricacies supersedes all the general knowledge. Okay, by assigning the responsibility of HSA compliance to the engineering team, we harnesses we harness their intimate familiarity with the project's technical aspect, uh, equipment intricacies, and complex processes. This familiarity enables them to swiftly, like I said before, swiftly identify project-specific risk and tailor safety measures accordingly, ensuring that the safety pro uh, protocols are perfectly aligned with the unique demands of the project. So their contextual understandings allow for a uh, once approach to safety that is often absent in the standardized frameworks employed by a dedicated HSE uh, department. So moreover, the engineering team's involvement in HSE compliance fosters a culture of continuous improvement. They are constantly evolving and, adap and adapting their safety practices based on uh, first-hand experience and lesson learned, right? That's an engineer. So this iterative process uh, ensure that the safety measures are not only effective, but also uh, reflective of the project's evolving requirement. So in a sense, Team A, we contend that entrusting the responsibility of HSE uh, compliance to the engineering team strike a delicate balance between the specialized knowledge and project's uh, specific expertise. So it's it empowers the engineering team to weave safety seamlessly into their daily operation, uh, ensuring that the, the safety uh, remains a core value rather than a bureaucratic uh, requirement. Yeah, that's it from us uh, for this debate uh, at this particular moment. Yeah, thank you. Profound arguments, team A. As we approach the end of this intellectually stimulating debate, we now turn to team B for their closing statements. Uh, panelists, uh, Danish, please, okay. you're muted again. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, distinguished audience and respected colleagues, as we draw the curtain on this repetitive debate, allow us to reiterate the merit of the dedicated HSE department in ensuring uncompromising compliance and fostering culture of safety, while Team A has eloquently a go for uh, engineering team responsibility. We contend that the specialist HSE department is ensured to address the evolving complex complexity 
and demand for modern project. Safety is a multi dimension and ever evolving discipline that requires constant vigilance, rigor, rigor, rigorous monitoring, and uh, apply, application of specialist knowledge. knowledge. By establishing a dedicated HSE department, organization demonstrate they are committed to prioritizing uh, safety as a paramount consideration. This department staffed by professional with deep expertise in HSE compliance is equipped, equipped with the latest industry best practice, regulation knowledge, and the risk assessment methodologies. They are full time focused on safety, ensure meticulous compliance, reducing the burden on the engineering team, and enable them to devote their energy and efforts to other critical aspects of the project. A dedicated HSE department also offer an independent perspective, serving as a crucial check and balance mechanism. They are impartially ensure the safety considerations are not compromised by conflict interest of pressure arising from the project execute. They act as an advocate for safety, providing objective insight connecting through audit and implementing standards, compliance enforce, enforcement across multiple jobs. This systematic approach uh, establish a strong foundation of safety and will trust among the stakeholders. In conclusion, Team B asset the dedicated HSE department argument the engineering team effort by the by providing specialized knowledge, full time focus, then standardized compliance enforcement and uh, independent viewpoint by embedding the engineering team from indicate detail of HSE compliance. We create a synergy that promotes both safety and engineering accident. All right, thank you for my partner. My esteemed participant and discerning audience, I'm sorry, as we bring the compelling debate to a close, it is crucial to recognize that the establishment of a dedicated HSE department does not diminish the role of engineering team in ensuring safety. On the contrary, contrary it strengthens the overall safety culture by complementing the engineering team's expertise with their specialized knowledge and resources. A dedicated HSE department acts as a savior of accumulated wisdom, drawing upon experience from diverse projects to identify common risks, develop comprehensive safety protocols, and disseminate best practices. Their unwavering focus of on I'm sorry on safety, coupled with their ability to dedicate uh, and divided attention to HSE, HSE compliance, elevates the safety standards and minimize the potential for oversight of neglect. For, furthermore, a dedicated HSE, HSE department possess possesses the capability to keep pace with ever evolving safety regulation, regulations and technological advancement. They continuously monitor industry trends, update safety protocols and provide ongoing training and education to engineering team by staying at the forth, forefront of safety practice, practices. They equip the engineering team with the tool and knowledge required to navigate the complex cities of HSE compliance successfully. In essence, Team B asserts that a dedicated HSE department complements the engineering team's efforts by ensuring specialized knowledge, full-time focus, and independent oversight, all of which are crucial components of a robust safety management system. Thank you. Thank you, Timbi, for your insightful closing statements. This remarkable debate has explored the 
depth of HAC compliance and shed light on the contrasting perspective of Team A and Team B. We commend all the panelists for their eloquence, depth of knowledge, and unwavering dedication to this critical topic. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed audience, as we conclude this repeating debate, we encourage you to reflect on the arguments presented, ponder the implications, and continue to engage in meaningful discussion that promote a culture of safety and responsibility. It is through such dialogues that we forge a path towards enhanced HSE compliance and the betterment of project management practices as a whole. On behalf of the entire panel, I extend our sincere gratitude to each of to each of you for your unwavering presence and intellectual engagement. Thank you, thank you, both of the team, for your enlightening closing statement. This debate has provided us with profound insight into the contrasting perspective regarding HSC compliance. Before we conclude, I would like to open the floor for any final remarks or rebuttals from both teams, if they so wish. Okay, thank you, moderator. Thank you, my our ex team moderator, for the opportunity to offer a brief rebuttal. So while Team B has uh, made a compiling, uh, compelling, sorry, compelling arguments for a dedicated HSC department, but it's also uh, essential to emphasize that the engineering team does not operate in isolation. Collaboration between the engineering team and the HSC department uh, can foster a dynamic environment where both entities can contribute to their respective expertise. So by maintaining the responsibilities for HSC compliance, the engineering team remains fully engaged and accountable for safety while availing themselves of the support and guidance provided by the HSC department. Thank you. Okay, thank you, panelist one. Okay, now, uh, indeed, as team moderator, uh, the collaboration between the engineering team and the dedicated HSE department is the, is the key. By working together, these two entities can capitalize uh, on their unique strength to create a synergistic, synergistic, uh, sorry, synergistic uh, approach to HSE compliance. The engineering teams uh, intimate understanding of the project in the cases uh, combined with the specialized knowledge and full-time focus of HSE department can foster a robust, a robust safety culture that permits a level of project execution. Thank you. Allow me to respond to Team A remark. While the collaboration is indeed vital, the complexity complexity, sorry, and uh, evolving nature of HSE compliance necess necessitate the expertise and undivided attention of the dedicated HSE department. By entrusting this responsibility to professionals who possess in deep knowledge of regulatory requirement, risk assessment methodology, and industry best practice, we ensure a comprehensive and rigor rigorous approach to safety. Collaboration between the engineering team and HSE department can enhance the effectiveness of HSE compliance, but the dedicated expertise of HSE department remain paramount. I concur with my esteemed, esteemed colleague from Team B, uh, which is Danish. The collaboration between the engineering team and the HSE department is essential, but the specialized knowledge and full-time focus of dedicated HSE department cannot be understand and understated. I'm sorry. By entrusting HSE compliance to this department, we establish a clear delineation of responsibility and empower of engineering team to focus on their core tasks without comprom compromising safety. This collaboration creates a harmonious partnership which each entity leverage their strengths to collectiv collectively uphold the highest standards of, high of HSE compliance. 
Thank you for the additional insight, Team A and Team B. Your perspective has further enriched our understanding of this complex topic as we approach the conclusion of this debate. I would like to express my gratitude to all the panelists for their eloquence, research, and commitment to delivering thought provoking arguments. In closing, let us remember that regardless of whether HSC compliance is the responsibility of the engineering team or a dedicated HSC department, the ultimate objective is to create a safe working environment that protects individuals, minimizes risk, and ensure that successful completion of projects. As professional in our perspective field, it is our shared responsibility to prioritize safety and embrace a culture of continuous improvement in HSC practices. Once again, I extend my deepest appreciation to the panelists and the audience for their active participation and insightful contributions. Let this debate serve as a catalyst for ongoing discussion, innovation, and advancement in HSC compliance. Together, we can make significant strides in fostering a safer and more responsible future. Thank you all, and may safety always be at the forefront of our endeavor. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you guys.